So this video is on twin screw superchargers. Uh, one thing, if you haven't already watched my video on superchargers, that's a good introduction to how they work and it'll give you some background information. Uh, so you may want to view that before watching this. Uh, now twin screw superchargers um, simply are named this because they have two uh, rotors that are like screws and uh, they compress the air as it moves along. So what's going to happen in this scenario is you're going to have air that's going to come in from the top and then as the air passes along through these uh, rotors it's squeezed into a smaller and smaller space. So from this side view here it's going to look like this. We're going to have air coming in the top. These are going to be rotating like this. The air is going to move horizontally back into it and then come out the back through the bottom. So as that air, as these mesh together, uh, the air goes into a smaller and smaller pocket and is actually compressed internally, which is different than a root supercharger. Uh, one thing to note is these rotors do not actually touch each other. Uh, they just simply squeeze the air as they move it back. Um, so the benefit of this internal compression is that you're going to have a high thermal efficiency. Um, that's one of the major uh, uh, benefits of a twin screw over a root supercharger. Uh, they're also good for low RPM boost and they do not use engine oil, so that's a plus. Uh, the negatives of the twin screw supercharger, like all superchargers, they have a parasitic load on the engine um, because they're rotated from the engine belt and they are expensive. These rotors don't touch they just become very, very close to squeeze that air. So it's expensive to design those um, and have those machined well. So they do unfortunately cost more. Um, some of twin screws will have the air come in through the back. So the orientation is going to be flipped around a little bit and you'll have the air moving in a different direction. And uh, these rotors will be flipped around. But for this example, I'm just using the top uh, intake twin screw and so you'll have the throttle body above the supercharger and your air will come in, move along the two rotors and then out the back, down the bottom, and into your intake manifold already compressed.